Oh my god, that is absolutely incredible. Welcome back, guys. This episode, we're going to be using the claw trains and the claw train truck uploaders. Uh, oh, sorry, loaders. And this is the game changer. This is what changes the game from being a kind of a bit of a mess with all these droid drones running around to just something that's beautiful. So let's get straight on with it. At the end of the last episode, I put in uh, this tank here to ship a little bit of iron up to this research. Now I've duplicated that on this side, so we're taking a little bit of coal from here and shipping that round there. I've hooked up the, the iron mines here to bring iron in. And then for this one, I've actually got this one picking up from these three uh, coal mines here and these three coal mines out here. It's all running on a single train. So I tell you what, we'll, we'll actually bump that one up by, I've got it running seven cars, so I think I'll run bump that up to nine. Okay, so that's all that. Now, actually, that's going to change later, but we're going to focus on the claw trains. So let's see. Have we got enough? We have got 41 coal processed. We've got 30 iron processed. We need 25 of each. So let's claim that. You know what? I should, sh I should actually show you this. So if I go to here and we look at this, for example. So I've just claimed that 30 iron and four coal. If I go to here and claim this, this four will change to 46 or 47 now. There you go. Hooray. Okay. That allows us to unlock two just awesome items. I've got to say, I think this is the best thing in the game so far, like by a long way. So we're going to get the unlock crate gate. This is actually very important. We'll go, and I'm going to show you how to use absolutely everything. And we're going to get the Claw track truck loader. Boom. Okay. At that point, let's pause. Because we're going to be making some pretty big changes. And the, the first change is I'm going to get rid of all the drones. So all the drones can go. Boom, 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 boom. Bye-bye drones. And now I've got zero drones. All right. And we're going to have a completely new road setup. So... All the roads go. Right, now you're probably thinking, oh, you've got stranded trucks, but if you just run it on for a second, they just disappear. Okay, so that's that sorted out. Right, how are we gonna lay out our new road system? How are we gonna use these um, these claw trains and the, uh, the truck loaders? Well, <laughs> we're gonna do it like this. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some doorways. Now, at the moment, like up until now, we've been using these doorways down here. Now we're going to start the, using the doorways up here. And I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is going to be epic. Right, roads. I am going to start off with a pit stop. Now, I think it's going to have to be there. Because I need to be able to turn around here. And you can't build like right next to the factory. So that's the closest I can get it. So that's going to be like that. And then I'm going to leave a space. And leave a space. Boom. And leave a space. Awesome source. Then. Now, it's really important when you're using this, um, these... Uh, claw loaders yeah you need to have at least one space in between your pit stops so you've got to have a space in between them you can't have two next to each other doesn't work so that one's going to go there that one there that one there that one there and that one there now why have i laid it out like that well it's because i want everything symmetrical and if you look this pit stop is lined up just with the edge of the factory and if you look at this one, this one's lined up exactly with the edge of the factory. So we've actually got perfect symmetry between our pit stops and the factory. That's going to help us. Now, the issue is, can I can I hook this up to the exits? Um, so we want entry. Let's have an entry there. Cool. And then now to hook these up, I'm going to have to be a little bit clever. I'm going to have to have a bit of a bit of a kink going in there. 
Well, come on, come on. There we go. Because you need to move it out one so that you can actually turn this round in minimum distance. So that goes in like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this middle one over here. So bring you out by one. And then we'll turn you around. Boom, like that. Okay, so what are we going to do with like getting these two in and out? Well, we're going to have this one going out uh, over here is fine. So we'll hook that up like that. So that's going to come in there, go around and then go out there. Awesome. And then we want another entry there. This one is going to come in and go around there. And then this one, we could actually, we could actually just exit, uh, exit uh, over here, couldn't we? Yes, we could. F flip you around, pop you in there. Oh, have I got that right? Oh, I have. All right, awesome. So we're going to have um, four tr four pit stops on each road, uh, which we should be able to handle. Um, uh, the, the truck volume, absolutely fine. Okay, let's do, let's do the the claw trains because the claw trains are just i seriously i can't tell you how brilliant they are okay claw train truck uploader this puppy is awesome i'm going to flip them around that way nope no nope. i'm going to flip them around that way and put them in like that brilliant and then we'll have one of those on each. now i'll just like if you tried to have them next to each other right it, it would just be red it wouldn't allow you to do it that's why you have to have them spaced out Boom and boom. Cool. Right, now that we've got those done, we need to hook them up to the factory. So let's get inside the factory. And I'm going to start with this one over here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to start with this one over here. Now, the the problem here is that I, I ideally need six But You know what? This one I can do. This one I can do. This will work. This will work. So, we're now going to get rid of all of this nonsense. So, this is the output from these three refiners. And we're going to put the output from those three refiners. Well, one of the refiners is being taken off to do research. Um, but these two, the output is going to go onto an unload station. Now, I could get rid of these. Uh, I could get rid of these these research things now because we've kind of done them and I could put up put in a, a another like hook up another arrangement oh by the way I will point out no, I'm, I'm, I've got way too much capacity here shall we should we get rich we trim that back I only need like two of these so how about well, well we'll keep things even so let's get rid of that one and that one and I'll just hook the power back up so we'll put one a pole there and a pole uh, there that hooks that up and then we want one at the back can we oh that that works beautiful all right so that's all the power back on okay so how are we gonna how are we gonna do this well let's take a claw track and we want to go through these two doors so we're gonna have um, uh, an inline and we're gonna have an outline and the outline is going to come in and go around to, well, let's say, to there. Then it's going to go over the top of this uh, this track here. Uh, down to, that's fine. Now we'll turn you around. And get you to hook up to there. And then we take this outside now this is the only way that you can actually run lines outside the factory you can't run these bays through the doors you can't run the step conveyors through the doors so then we're going to have this running out let's see let's do it like maybe oh, now i want these to turn instantly so that we have the most efficient line so let's bring you down like that and then hook you up to there and then we want the same thing with this one. We want to come straight out. And then down to there and hook up to there. Okay, awesome. Right, now what we want to do is we want to put six claws on here. 
Why are we putting six? Because trucks carry six. So we're going to do everything in sixes. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six. There are our six claws. Now, I want my six claws um, like right over this uh, while, I, while I set things up. But let me just put in the, um, the picker uppers, the pickup stop. And I'm going to put six pickup stops, and you can it highlights the, the the bottom where it's going to pick a crate up. So we'll put in the six pickups there, boom, and then I want my crane to move over these, just while I set this up. Yeah, it's going that way, so I'm going to flip it and so I go that way. There we go. Okay. Now why have I moved that there? Well, it's because I want to put in these things, the crate gates. Now these are important. These are important. We are going to set this up. Um, I'm going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight away from the end of this line. And then I want to do the same on the other end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is eight going to be enough? I think eight is going to be enough. And then I want to do the same thing up here so uh, one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight okay so what the hell are these great ga crate gates for well there's, there's certain rules you can add to these so we're going to say with this one i'm going to turn it on right i'm going to set the direction to that way saying if you want to pass this gate in this direction Right? I'm going to say, you have to be carrying a minimum of six crates. Okay? And then I'm going to set this one to the same thing. So I'm going to turn it on, that direction, and you've got to be carrying a minimum of six crates. Over here, uh, this one, I'm going to turn around. So if you want to go in that direction, turn it on. I'm saying, you've got to have a maximum of zero crates. Right, so you've got to be empty if you want to go out there. And this one's going to be the same. Uh, it's going to be going in that direction. If you're going to want to go in this direction, turn it on. Maximum zero crates. What this is going to do is make sure that the claw train has six crates before it goes out to load up the truck. And then it will wait in this area till the truck arrives, load the truck. And when it's empty, when it's, when it's filled the truck up, then it's going to move back into here. So, shall we, um, shall we see this work? So as you can see, this, this claw is just going to oscillate backwards and forwards between these two stops until it's got six crates. That's the best view, probably around here. So, now it's got four. Now it's got five. Now it's important to have enough space so that the, the crane can move all the way so that it can pick up from wherever. Okay, so now, now it's got six. It's able to pass that gate, go over here, and then it's just gonna oscillate between these two gates, waiting for a truck to arrive. Right, our trucks are all arriving. Look at them flooding in. I'm thinking this is probably the truck that's going to go here. I think that one's going to go into that bay there. Yeah. But this is like maximum efficiency for your claw train. These um, these gates, very important. So look, look at this. So the truck's going to arrive. And basically, as soon as it stops, it's going to start getting loaded up. Boom and boom. And that's it. And then now it's empty. It'll go back and it'll load up again. Oh, and look. We've got six crates waiting now. So then it's full. Comes back out. Oh, the next truck is arriving. Boom. 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 <laughs> oh, man. How good is that? Now, it hasn't got full set of six crates. So it's just going to sit there and wait. The truck will wait till this is ready. 
as soon as this has got six, which should be, that's five. One more. Now this is why I really need to get rid of this so that I've got maximum output. But all of these other lines, um, as long as they're running full on, should keep all this on. So, you know what? Let me finish off all these other lines. Okay, so it's all done. Now, I've had to limit these to uh, to four pickup points. And I, I could have changed this. I could have extended this one out, this 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 track down here, and had that one further forward. Uh, actually, no. Actually, I probably couldn't. But you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The main thing is we want to turn this on and see if it actually works. And look at it. I mean, it's a thing of beauty. I didn't want to mess around with this because I wanted this to be all symmetrical. And it looks awesome. Should we turn it on and see it work? Go on then. All right. So let's put the claw trades on. Now, I, the, the thing is, I need the claw trades in the right place. It's the, it's the only problem because I forgot to do that. Uh, let's put the claw trades in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a pick up point. I need... Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you, that's a stop point. Give me the, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I picked the wrong spot. Oh, no, you should, you should be all right, I think. I think, we'll see. And you, one, two, three, four, Five, six. Let's see. Let's see if that. Yes. Yes. All right. Now we're off and running. So, they're all going to whiz around in this little area till they've got six, and then they're going to whiz out. They're going to fill up the trucks, and off they go. Oh, and the truck 
Trucks start pulling out. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is absolutely incredible. There's a truck. Boom, 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 boom. And the last one goes in. Boom. Wow. Here we go. How efficient is that? Oh, bullet. Let's see another one get it done. Here we go. Boom. 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 And the last one. And off you go. <laughs> Here we go. This, one. this is what... See, now they're, they're starting to actually wait for the trucks to come in. So now we can start to balance our production and, and the trucks. So if we need more trucks, then we could go into here... Uh, I can well, I can I can extend it to the last one, which is uh, seven and a half seconds. And the other thing that I can do, because I'm thinking, it's like, well, this is waiting for a truck. This one's waiting for a truck. This one's still waiting for production. So I'm thinking we need a bit more stuff coming into here. So we're gonna make we're gonna make some changes back here. Oh yeah, we are. So. What I want to do is I want these uh, to be able to swap materials between them. Because look, this one has got contents in it. So this one's, this one's producing. This one hasn't got anything in it. So this one's going to stop producing soon. Um, there's only going to be a little delay because the, the, here comes the train. But this... See, there's a little delay in, in production. It's only a tiny delay, but we can fix that. If I, um, now, yeah, yeah, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. If I get rid of the that packager, get rid of a couple of those, get rid of that, uh, get rid of that, and then move it just one across. Oh, that's going to, that's going to mess with my tracks though, isn't it? What if I move it to there? Now, if I move it to there, it's not so good space-wise, but I can put one of these long transfer tubes in. So that will now transfer to that. If I flip it around and put it bi-directional, so that will now feed that. That one will feed that one. And then, yeah, I just need to move this around, don't I? So that goes, that goes, that goes. We'll get a new crate maker, which we'll put in there, with a transfer tube there. All right, that works. Uh, this one will do a transfer tube. Uh, how do I want to do this? Go on, if I do a transfer tube there, and then have a crate maker. Uh, where's my crate maker? And then have a crate maker attached on the side or do I put it there maybe I put it there you know what? I'm gonna put it there and then get rid of that so I want to get rid of one, two there don't I yep and then grab a transfer tube that goes in there we'll grab a step conveyor Flip it around, that's gonna go that way, and then hook up to that. Sweet. So then I wanna do the same thing on the other side. Now that is still picking up from that fine, that's still picking up from that fine. Good. Alright, so I wanna do just wanna do the same thing over here. So get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, that. That goes up to there. Oh, I need to get rid of that one as well, Danny, because that's gonna come in from the side now. And then this one, that stays, oh, that stays there. How did, how does that stay there? No, that's good. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I can't fit, uh, you know what? Put the, put the, put the container in, then you'll be able to figure it out. So I want uh, a gap of three, don't I? And then have the lower transfer tube. So like which one? Let's, let's have it the same. So that one's going that way. So we have that one going that way. And then flip it around. That one goes that way. And then we have the... Oh, I need a picker, a sucker-upper. Let's have a sucker-upper going in. Uh, oh, why can't I put that there? 
Oh, it's because I've got it the wrong way around. There you go. We have the sucker upper going into there. Sweet. So then we have the two transfer tubes coming out there. We have the two crate makers, um, which for some reason, <laughs> aren't. oh, I've got it. Yeah, that one moves over here, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So those go in there. This goes uh, like that. And then step conveyors. That one goes that way and hooks up to that. This one goes that way and hooks up to that. No. Yeah. How, how come that's different there and there? Because that one just goes straight out. Okay. Weird. Weird. But you know what? As long as it works, that's the main thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's up to there. That's up to there. That's up to there. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, let's see if it works now. So, this is... This is bringing stuff in. Now, the, the thing is, this one... Oh, see, that's just transferred some to there. Awesome. Okay, the problem is that this one is was running iron. This one was running coal. Now that I've linked them together, these can only hold one like one resource right so they can either have coal in it or they can have iron in it so what we're going to do is change this to be this half of the factory is going to be producing iron this half of the factory is going to be producing coal right well how the hell am i going to do that well right now we've got these three coal here uh, uh sorry these three iron here which are feeding into uh, this first vat and then we've got this and if I swing around this and this feeding coal into here well we're going to change that we're going to change that we're no longer going to be feeding in coal so I'm going to get rid of get rid of the three mines and I'm going to disconnect the track but I'm going to let let this run around there we go yeah, you can get filled up. And once it's cleared that to there, then we'll change this. We'll just disconnect that. We'll, we'll I'll just leave that in place because I might do something with that later. And then we'll grab, uh, what do I want? Mine carts. And we want level two. Flip that around. I just want to hook that up. Okay, so fine. We're now just shipping in iron into uh into this one from there but this one's still bringing in coal well we're going to change that instead of bringing in coal from here i'm going to get rid of at least look, look these are all full let's get rid of that that and that and we're going to bring iron in from these four up here So let's throw in one, two, three, four, and get those hooked up. Okay, so that is our new iron mine hooked up. I've taken it up to the second level because I want to see if the trains go faster on the second tier than they do on the first tier. And then, of course, we're going to have to crank this up because this is going to be bringing in like a lot of stuff from out there. So we'll crank this train up to max. Let's crank it up to 16 cars. All right, let's go. Now, you're going to go out that way. 
Now, does it go any? F I don't think it goes any any faster on the second tier. Now, one thing I will mention, because I said in a previous video that I couldn't make it scroll any faster. The if I if I press the shift key while I'm move while I'm scrolling, if I press the shift key, it does move faster. It moves probably about fifty percent faster. When I tried it out, I was scrolling like this, and I didn't think it was making any difference, but it does. So, so my bad. So you're going to come out here. You're going to start filling up with iron rather than coal. Beautiful. Now, what I suppose, really, I should get rid of this. Um, I should get rid of the coal. But it's fine. We'll just let it run. It will use it up, like, eventually. Okay, so that's going to mean that now we're bringing in a lot more materials to the factory. So we're going to have... Uh, going to have a... So we've got we've got three, six feeding into these. I think we want to pick up a little bit more than that. So I'm going to pick up these two over here. So you know what? Let me get that set up. Alrighty, those are in, and now we're going to be collecting from these three up here, these two down here, and we've got these three feeding into here. So we've got uh, six. So we've got eight feeding in now. This train is going to have to be bigger. So, you know, what the hell, let's just let's just crank it up to the full 16, because it's kind of fun. Here we go. See, and they're both running, because they're transferring between. Here we go. But, see, we're not getting any excess in there. That's why we need to be picking up from those extra couple of mines. And hopefully, we should start to see that we've got some excess coal sitting in here. Now, oh, here you go, look. See, that's just arrived. It's dumping iron into here, but it's flowing into this one. Oh, look at all that lovely iron flowing in. Now you, why are you not picking up? Oh, because this isn't powered. Right, let's hook that power up quickly. So power goes there, there. How much power am I using now? I'm only using 59 of 80. Okay, so this, well, these will start running now. So they're producing iron now. So that's going to start bringing in iron. How are we doing? Yeah, these are just, just starting to run out. I've only got three. Two. But now they should always have the same amount in. The same over here. These two should always have the same amount in. Where's our, here comes our train. How much are you carrying? Oh, it's almost full. So, and as soon as we start to see it in one, we should see it in the other. Oh, look, there you go. And however much there is in one, so that's nine. Yeah, there's, there's the same amount in both. And that's going to keep our production lines running very smoothly. And then we've got our trucks. I mean, you know what? Man, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to take this to the next level where we're going to unlock and start using combiners. Now remember, there's going to be a live stream uh, both uh, Saturday night and Sunday night. Saturday night, so tonight, it's going to be from uh, uh, 8 till 11 UK time. So that's uh, what starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard. And then on Sunday, it's 7 till 10, which is uh, starts at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you'll join me for the live streams. I will, um, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.